For example, uh, uh, we are here at Lingxi. Today is our third day of a trek and we will be heading towards Chebisa. So it's going to take about uh, two to three hours at the max. And the altitude right now is about 4,100 meters above sea level. The weather today favored us. From Niji, if you have to go to sea, we have to cross that mountain. So that's called Nelela Pass, 4840 meters above sea level. And Nelela Pass, if you have to go to Parshom. And this one is the historic Niji Eagle Zone. Uh, it was constructed back then in 1668 80 by Shogil Meiji Tempa. And right now, the renovation work is still going on. The settlement that you see behind me is called Gongyul. So it falls under Niji, a uh, here in the Muzongkak. So this is the first village that we come across before uh, reaching to Chebisa. Gongyul village. It falls under Niji Geok and it's about two hours hike from Niji Geok Center. So the hiking trail and the time is not that uh, tough. The people of this village offered egg to Shagrum Rinpoche and hence it was named as Gongyul. There is also a temple right above the village known as Chagizong where Lampaju Dugum Shippo meditated it. This is Chebisa under Linji Gyok and our destination for the day. In 17th century, when Shabdum Rinpoche visited this place, the people offered Yaktam and so on, the place was named as Chebisa.
we are here at Jevisa under Linji Geok in Timbuzongok. So as of now we are going towards the waterfall, one of the main attraction sites here at Jevisa. So our friends and they are already moved, we are going there. Today, the hike from Lingji to Chebisa through Gongyul village was only 3 hours. In the morning, we hiked up to Lingji Yugil zone and on the way, we made a brief tour of Gongyul village. Upon arriving at Chebisa, we visited the waterfall which is right above the village. <laughs> 